As we mentioned earlier, Russian President Vladimir Putin is paying a visit to China. President Xi Jinping now is giving a speech at a press conference. Let's now listen in. Clearly, drive the cooperation of One Belt, One Road initiative, as well as the connection with Ukraine. European Economic Union, as well as the regional cooperation for the difficulties and challenges during the development, we will keep a very good, healthy, and good momentum of economic development in both countries. In the recent years, a cultural and people exchange are booming. We have different events. In terms of tourism, uh, National Day, and also exchange for youth, we have different theme events. All of these help to boost mutual understanding and friendship. The people exchange in last year is around two million, and China is the largest nation of tourism. Resources for Russia. Right now, we have more than 20,000 Russian people are learning Chinese. And for the students in China, learning Russian is reached 50,000. And for the a overseas study in Russia or in China, also reach a higher number. For the at present, Putin and I all. Agree that we should not just stop on number level. We should work harder and pay more efforts in media cooperation and have a better understanding and friendship and create a very good and warming environment for both countries and also help to have a bigger voice in the region issues and hope both the country's media friends can participate more in events and please contribute to the media development of both countries. President Putin and I believe as the members of UN <coughs> We should maintain the stability of international and regional security, and we should also follow the UN laws and regulations. We should protect the world strategic stability and also fairness and justice. We should insist to resolve dispute through uh, dialogue negotiations instead of weapons or weapons threats and as well as sanctions or threats by using sanctions to solve the issues in the regional and international issues. We will do our efforts to further drive the new relationship of the uh, both countries and also the international way of cooperation. With the effort, hand-in-hand uh, -hand effort with Putin, we'll further develop our cooperation and take a leading position to drive our cooperation. Within this year, we will meet again in several big and international events. I also invite President Putin to come to China in the beginning of September to attend Hangzhou meeting of G20 to continue our in-depth communication and discussion. Thank you very much.